What up guys? I'm just gonna do a quick uh, quick overview slash review of two knives I just got. Um, first, uh, first real quick, uh, there's not much to say about this. This is the Boker Titan. Uh, it was about 35 bucks. It's got full titanium scales, uh, titanium backspacer, backlock, 440C blade. Very nice for the money, I gotta say. I mean, as someone who can't afford a, a Sabenza or something like that, uh, the titanium feels a lot like a Sage 2. Uh, so, I mean, it's a good it's a good way to, you know, get yourself some titanium. And, uh, yeah, I like Boger. Boger's good stuff. I mean, people, people have their issues with them. I'm not gonna deny that they sometimes have issues. I mean, the Boker brand is good. Boker Plus is, is where you get some occasional problems, but you know, I've had nothing but pretty much good experiences with them, so. But this one's really nice. I just figure, you know, I like it. You know, I like titanium, and it's so affordable. It's got a nice pocket clip. It's really thin, nice and light, and it's pretty big, too. I mean, uh, get a military going here. I mean, it's not it's not a small knife but it's pretty pretty good size I mean, it's not the same size as the military but it's close um, but yeah it's a cool knife I definitely recommend it I like the blade shape it's got a drop point nice and sharp good for uh, you know everything it's a good shape it's very uh, kind of a classic blade shape there it's like a little narrower but uh, you know the grips nice it carries nice it's very light but it's got that high quality feel to it for a uh, under $40 knife, but definitely recommend it, guys. Um, and also, just got like pretty much one of my dream knives that I've been trying to get for a very long time, and it is awesome. It's a DPX Hest folder. This thing is sick. I was worried. I, uh, I originally uh, wanted one, and I was going to pre-order it. Then the first first uh, production ones came out, and I heard all these horror stories, and I kind of just forgot about it I guess but I you know I wanted one still but um you know I just got this uh, I got a really good deal on it so I had to jump on it um, it's got the OD green scales I'm not sure if I'm gonna pimp it out I mean maybe I like it a lot and I think I'm gonna use this one a lot so you know I don't really like to pimp my users too much but uh you know it's nice not too aggressive not too slick nice G10 on there it's got the like bolt shape uh, lanyard hole, the the uh, glass breaker clip screw. It's got a nice low ride clip. It's got the nice stone wash titanium with a lock here. It's rock solid. Uh, there's no blade play here. There's no rust here. There's nothing. There's no problems that I was expecting to maybe have. And like I've heard that the blade comes pretty far up here. Uh, not a problem. I can't get my hand to touch it. So. Um, you know, it whips open nicely, it's very smooth, it's a super thick blade, which is very, very cool for me. I mean, I love thick blades, and that's like, it's like three of this. Uh, it's got the, you know, the bottle opener slash wave feature, which is nice, it doesn't open, it doesn't wave open like an Emerson does when you don't want it to sometimes. It's just a nice, smooth, uh, open. Like, if you really want to, you pull back a little bit more than you usually would taking it out of your pocket, and it opens nicely. Um, but overall, I mean, I, I really think this is a lot like the Zero Tolerance 551. Uh, it's got the same feel, to, I mean, not the same size and shape and everything, but the way it's made, it seems the same. It's got the liner with the G10, which you don't usually get with a titanium frame lock. Uh, it's just very similar to it. And it's like a different version almost of that, that knife. Um, I don't really have any dislikes. That I could think of. I mean, it's one of those knives that I haven't been able to put down since I got it yesterday. And uh, it's, you know, D2 steel. It's real sharp. It's got that really nice blade shape. It's good for a lot of different tasks. You know, that's thick all the way to the tip, so you know you're not going to get any breaking. You know, D2 is, is pretty damn hard stuff. You got the RYP symbol there and the DPX has there. Um, and it feels you know, it's similar to a Rat 1, I guess. Uh, I mean, not as deep of a choil there, but you know, it's got a nice short blade, so it's good for EDC everywhere. Um, the jimping, I was kind of worried about that. It was, it's a kind of a strange looking jimping. I thought that looked maybe get too sharp, but it's really flush with each one, so it's, 
yeah, you don't get your hand caught in this little these little cuts here because they do look sharp and they are, but you don't you don't hit it at all. It just kind of grabs your finger the slightest bit. It's good, and uh, it's good for small hands. I have smaller hands and I lock in right here and up here. And I still, you know, if you had bigger hands or gloves, you get that full grip there. It's very nice. It's definitely a lot like the actual Hest fixed blade, uh, minus the pointless pry bar. Sorry guys, I just, I had to get rid of it. I traded it off because uh, I cut myself a couple times just carrying it on when I was hiking. I mean, I carried it on my shoulder and it rubbed against my chest. I carried it on my hip and it rubbed against my hip, the pry bar I mean. And uh, it, it, you know, it was great for cutting and you know, nice and sharp, good quality, but I just, you know, I, I traded it for RC3, which, you know, is one of my favorite, favorite fixed blades for anything outdoors, and it's a good size and everything, but this thing's cool, it came with a tool, um, I'm not sure where I put it, that's on my keychain, but, uh, you know, it's got everything you need to, uh, unscrew this guy, or yeah, hold it in place while you unscrew this. And uh, it's got the thing for unscrewing the butt, uh, the uh, butt stock, the uh, breaker there. It's good stuff. And it, that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, even in the reverse grip, uh, it's not you know too pointy where you can't like carry it like this. It it doesn't like jab your finger or anything. I mean, you even have enough room to even put it up to the side a little bit. But you know, the way it is is you know right in that little pointed area kind of fits right there so you don't have any problems oh, I got a cut there where did that come from yeah. when you work with knives as much as I do you don't even notice cuts sometimes it's pretty terrible but uh, all around uh, definitely recommend this knife too if you can find one I mean they're a little pricey like 100 and 180 to 200 bucks but uh, you know you can get this guy here for under 40 bucks and I definitely like it a lot uh, you know, it's got the cool boker, or it's got the cool titanium thumb stud. I like that. It's a nice touch because I, I just love the titanium color. It's just that flat matte gray, and I like that there's a titanium backspacer. It's real cool. But it's a very tight knife, very solid. But uh, anyway, guys, this uh, my two cents here and a couple knives that are that are pretty nice. And uh, this one's new. This one's you know been out for a while, but you know. This is a cool knife, and I saw uh, We All Juggle Knives do a video on it, and uh, I've been thinking about getting it, and I just saw it, and I was just like, you know what, that's a good, good buy right there, so I liked his review. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.